Everyone, welcome back to the Far Out Wisdom Podcast. I'm pretty sure you, whoever is listening to this right now, it's they probably know what's going on around the world right now. I'm going to give a little bit of background information about the COVID-19, also known as the coronavirus. You're probably stuck at home as I am. So in I'm in Fresno, California. So I mean, everybody's freaking out right now. It is 11.18 p.m. And happy Pi Day. And Jeremy, he's going out fishing. So he's like, you know what? I'm going to take advantage of it. So I'm just going to go and try to catch some catfish or whatever he's doing. So I, he went fishing. So I decided to take the time to record this. And um, I'm sure that um, some people around the country are stuck at home and hey man I feel you and I really appreciate you guys listening to this episode. So back to what I was talking about. So uh, the COVID-19 known as the coronavirus. So I'm going to say it straight out that um, this virus is due to China's incompetence. Okay the Communist Party of China has endangered the world. And I think this is how you pronounce it. It's a path, a pathologist. Okay, so a pathologist named Li Wen Liang. He began treating patients in Wuhan, China, where the outbreak originated back in December. So he told his colleague on December 30th and days later, um, he he and his colleague got in trouble by the CP, CCP for spreading false information about the virus. So it began to look like SARS. And unfortunately, Li Wen Liang, he died on February 6th because he was treating patients. And so he was in ground zero in Wuhan, China. And... You know, during the time that he was sick, when he caught the virus, he still was a champion about the virus. He told um, BBC World Service about it. He was really, um, he was saying that it's going to be an epidemic if if China doesn't do anything. And when he died, his death sparked political outrage in China. So his just think about it you know the ccp their social contract with these people is beginning to look dim and dark and they they are you know covering all the the information they're not um they're not being honest with other countries and of course you know they started to they shut down trains planes buses and this is pretty much seen even France they're beginning to to shut down businesses my son's school they shut down officially on on Monday so I'm getting phone calls from the school (coughs) I'm getting phone calls from the school constantly about the virus We're, we're, we're getting updated constantly and so the school is shut down for about um, a good month so they combat the virus it, it, even my job they're beginning to train us to kind of t- you know be careful washing our hands don't touch our face and um 
of course, you know, everybody's all freaking out and, uh, but I'm going to put it into a little per- bit of perspective in it and, you know, everything that's going on, it made me look at people and I began to shake my head. It made me feel sorry for humanity and how they're pretty much handling this, this virus. And of course, I'm not, I'm not downplaying anything. I understand that we are, it, it can be like the, you know, the Spanish flu. But I have been doing a little research and I have the world, 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 world meter and it's catching on about the, the COVID-19 and the total death so far is 5,839 and the most death is in China with 3,199 deaths. 80% of the victims are over age 60. 75% has been has died and they had other health, health conditions on top of what they have now. Very few were children. And thousands have recovered. So I'm going to click this. So I apologize if you guys hear me doing it. So there are a total of 156,770 confirmed cases in 152 countries and territories. Territories. Um, they're trying to. The fatality rate is still being assessed at the moment. So the age 80 years old. There's a death rate confirmed cases of 21.9%. And then the all cases in total was 14.8%. So the more older you are, the more dangerous this virus is for you. The younger you are, the less likely you are to be affected by this virus or die. And I have no idea why everybody's outside running around with their heads cut off with buying toilet paper. I really don't understand this. And uh, today, what I was going out about, I called my mom and I went to visit my my mom and dad um, because I was worried about them because I know how my mom is. And she was screaming in the phone. She was like, you know, there's no food. Everybody's freaking out. There's nothing. There's no meat. There's everything is just all gone. And that's what I want to talk about. I want to point out how fucking selfish people are, beca- are, are are beginning to be. So think about it. A couple of family are buying toilet paper and stuff like that. Why won't you buy toilet paper that lasts your family instead of buying toilet paper for yourself? You know, I have a child. I have a son at home. And I really don't mind washing his ass with water. I really don't mind washing my ass with with water either. But the thing that that makes me shake my head and 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 realize that humanity is still stuck in this age of selfishness is this whole epidemic scare. Everybody's just thinking about themselves. They're not thinking about other people. And of course, there are some that's willing to kind of help each other out, but I, the more that I think about it and and I saw how people were panicking today when I was at the supermarket, and everybody was freaking out. Nobody thought about other people. They were purchasing water after water. Food and things like that. And I understand everybody just wanted to be prepared. But I just. It really makes me sad. That nobody's thinking about other people. And and, and a friend of mine who has a little baby. She's like you know I can't really. I can't get any baby wipe, baby wipes whatsoever. Because other moms probably are buying it for their kids and they don't think about me either. So that made me shake my head in shame because I'm pretty sure there are some adults out there who just purchased the, the baby wipes because you refuse to wash your own ass. So 
I just wanted to understand why people ugliness comes out <laughs> during times like this and it's some really ugly stuff that I that I I seen happen in public and you know a lot of kids are happy like you know yay you know school's out but you know the little babies are just like happy and you know that they, they really don't know what's going on but it's the fucking adults that really annoys the shit out of me the adults running around with their heads cut off like like chicken with their head heads cut off and i just laugh you know i just I, I'm, not, I'm not laughing to mock them i'm laughing because i'm trying to control my anger and my irritation seeing adults act like this and purchasing food for themselves and only themselves and could, could you guys imagine if something really serious is going to happen? I see, I, I, see I, I understand that it looks serious now, but then along the line, I'm going to laugh at you because of how fucking stupid you are. Because looking at the confirmed cases that I've read right now, all that the facts, 5,839 deaths, most of them are in China. Most of the people who died, who died are the elderly. The older people, of course, they're going to die. They're sensitive to everything. The, moment, the, the older that you become, the more vulnerable you are to things like the coronavirus, the flu, the common cold. I mean, you don't, your immune system doesn't work anymore like it's, it's supposed to. Of course, the young, young people are not dying. And when you when you look at the number of how many people recover, I wish I could just pull that up right now. Um, thousands, I mean thousands, like seventy five thousand people recover from the virus, and everybody's just freaking out about it. One of my friends caught the virus, and the dude is sixty years old, and he said that he, I really don't know even know how that guy recovered and. This guy slept with hookers all over the world. He goes to a fucking party. He's this guy's immune system was built for this virus, dude. He didn't even. I, I was for a couple of days. I really didn't notice his his activity online, but I noticed that he just. I think he was hiding himself from the world. I think he was he was kind of like preparing himself. He's like, oh shit, I got the, I caught the coronavirus. Fuck it, I'm just gonna drink myself to death. But the dude didn't die. I, dude, he's amazing. I really like. I I really give a shout out to Bill. That dude's fucking awesome. He, he's he's he rec he recovered from it. I'm I'm so happy that he and blessed that he is still here with us. And he just tells me he was like, you know, hey man, I caught the virus. I mean, it it just feels like a bad cough. You know, it feels like a common cold. And I think one of my friends in the UK caught it as well. And he stood home and he's like, dude, I'm really bored. He goes, the worst of it's gone. And I go, are you sure that it's not the flu or the common cold? He goes, no, I'm pretty sure it's the coronavirus. He he called the NHS and they said, hey, are you showing the symptoms? I, um, the symptoms is um, sneezing, coughing, uh, your chest get tight, um, pretty much like the common cold and the flu. And I said, you know, are you going to go? He goes, nope, I'm going to stay home. I'm going to quarantine myself. And he did. He stood home for about a week and a half. And um, today he went and did his test for the, for English examination. And the dude's fine. He, he sent me a message. He said, hey, I'm feeling really good. I'm happy. I'm in a good mood. I feel good. Um, and, you know, the, the funny thing is, not, Bill and um, my friend in the UK didn't even take any medication. I'm really surprised, you know. Uh well, I'm pretty sure Bill did. I, 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 he went to the hospital. Um, he didn't say anything else, and um, the test kits are beginning to be available. But he's still kind of feeling a little bit down and drowsy. But he feels okay. So yeah, I'm checking on him and see what's going on with him. But he feels good, and and um, you know, everybody's freaking out buying toilet paper emptying them shelves and things like that is really it's an it's really fucking annoying because of the fact that a lot of family are 
out there trying to, you know, stock up their supplies and boom, you know, they have nothing. Even I'm trying to order things online, toilet papers online and, and nothing. But, you know, Jeremy and I, we, we do, uh, you know, it's our, our main business of area where we, you know, deal with janitorial supplies and things like that. And, um, yeah, we're lucky to be surrounded by stuff like that. So it's really cool that, and, and we're lucky but I'm just watching these people. I, I need shampoo. And um, I'm probably going to try to go tomorrow with Jeremy and see if we can get something. But I and that's really crappy. And it's just, I'm really sad to see a lot of people just buy buy out supplies and um, let every, everybody else just like screw it. You know, I'm going to protect myself kind of attitude and I'm not going to think about other people. There was an article that I read a long time ago when Cambodia... Um, there was a journalist for the Cambodian Daily. He wrote an article about how Cambodians are selfish. And I didn't really understand what he was talking about until the virus hit here in the United States. So we had one case here in California. It was a 90-year-old woman who died at, at in a house. And, um, you know, our governor shut down the, the state of California and, 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 you know, President Trump declare emergency. And I, I understand the, the precaution that they're taking. But the problem that I have is the the things, they're blowing it out of fucking proportion. Okay? Everybody's in a panic. Wash your hands. You know, don't touch your face. Don't touch your hair. Pretty much like the flu season. So it's beginning to get hot. It's spring already. So um, people are, you know, even their allergies, they're beginning to freak out about it. I have been coughing myself and... uh It's my allergies. I'm, I'm very sensitive to dust and dirt and, gr and, and and pollen. And so I'm not really thinking about it. And if I am feeling really sick, I stay home. And, uh, you know, the virus is really dangerous to someone like me because of the fact that I have asthma. Um, but then, you know, I think about the older people. Just keep them inside. Follow the precaution. Don't fucking freak out. Don't panic. Relax. Chill out, dude chill out hug your toilet paper put on some netflix and chill put on some fucking hulu watch some youtube videos relax my goodness i just don't understand people sometimes and um i try to contain myself from from the the inner anger and agitation that I feel when I watch people just freak out and even my son who's autistic he's like watching people he's like I really don't understand what's going on mom I don't you know it's like ha watching like adults have a meltdown and you know what I think it is I think it's because Americans are so goddamn spoiled the west is so goddamn spoiled when they come across something like this they don't know what to do and could you imagine an actual invasion especially from communist China how will they hand themselves? So I really want you to think about this. This pandemic that's happening right now. And I really want to think about you. And I really want you to ask yourself. How are you going to handle a situation when it becomes serious? Toilet paper is not going to help you. It's not going to protect you from an invasion. I mean sure it's an invasion of the a virus. But what the, what the hell a toilet paper is going to do? It's not going to protect you from anything. And this is why I always tell people to, to educate themselves about survival techniques and things like that. To prepare yourself for things like this. See, Jeremy and I, we're not really freaking out about anything. We're, we're kind of just sitting back and watching people freak out. Buying water. Dude, you have tap water. Why are you buying bottled water? Why are you buying bottled water? God. <coughs> I don't understand what's going on. And it's just like, this is what I'm talking about. I said, and, and, and I just watch everybody just freaking out from far away. And I'm like, you know, when real shit gets down, I'm just going to watch people just attack each other. And you just come like vultures afterwards. I'm like, I'm being like a vulture right now. I'm, I'm watching everybody just freaking out and attacking each other and beating each other up for toilet paper and shit. And I'm just watching it. And as soon as they tired themselves out... 
that's when I come in. So, see? My archaic side is coming out during this pandemic. So, guys, wash your hands, don't eat ass, and please calm the hell down. As always, guys, stay far out. Bye.